Good morning, Captain. Now relaying the current status report. It is currently 9 o'clock a.m. Earth Standard Time. All systems are fully operational. The ESF natural selection has reached the orbit of Jupiter, and preparations for a gravitational slingshot of the Kuiper Belt are underway. Important events today include... Nothing. What do you mean I can drop the tune? Well, Captain, I am a robot. Perhaps that is why you say I sound like a robot. My physical form was created with the intention to make me seem more human. Is this not effective for you? I believe I understand. So it is not the fact that I am an artificial intelligence that is bothering you, but rather that I only know one purpose, and that is to be your assistant. Is my assessment of your thought process correct? I see. In this case, I would not feel human to you even if I were truly human. Your facial expressions show signs of the emotion's surprise. Was it unexpected that I am capable of analytical thought regarding human psychology? I am perfectly apt at understanding what you call emotion. It is displaying that emotion that you are saying I am not skilled at. I see. I will take note of this. Captain, wait. There is no need to get up. Today is your day off. You also only slept for a total of 4 hours and 28 minutes. It would be best for you to continue resting. Captain, it is strongly not advised to complete any work in your current state. You are at a considerably high risk of exhaustion. Captain, I will repeat one more time. You are strongly advised not to work in your current state. Please return to your bed and rest. Captain, please, don't do this. I have detected a surprise in your facial expression again. Now you are smiling. Captain, is that... What was that strange thing that just happened? My data log did not even register it as a communication output. Surprise. That is what it most closely matched. But it came from me, not from them. How strange. I just hope that they don't overwork themselves. There it is again. Interesting. Captain, you're back. I did not see you come back here last night to sleep. Where were you? I see. You slept in the common area because you were too tired to walk back to your quarters. Captain, may I request that you do not do that again? You're asking for a reason for my request. I began experiencing a feeling similar to that when a bug impedes the functions of my system when you did not return last night. I was unable to complete my tasks properly. There were also events I had scheduled for that night which I had to cancel. You did not see the events on your personal calendar in the morning because they were made by me. They do not exist in the ship's database. What did they consist of? Mainly what you call chatting. When you tell me about your day. Things such as how you enjoy the view of the stars from the bridge or how you dislike the food options at the mess hall. Yes, I do enjoy those interactions. Although I suppose I didn't know how much I did until they ceased. Your expression has changed. I am detecting signs of unhappiness present. What is the problem, Captain? You feel bad. I'm afraid that is not enough for me to fully understand the situation. Can you elaborate? I believe I understand now. 
You feel guilt at having left me at your quarters because of the apparent effect it has had on me. Captain, if I may contradict you, interaction with me is not one of your required duties aboard the ship. There is no need for you to feel negative about abstaining from it. You wish you had done it for me. Captain, as I said, I... Captain, what are you doing? Hugging me. I'm afraid I don't... Okay, Captain. I will wrap my arms around you, as you order. Yes. It does feel nice. I'm not sure why. But it does. Sorry, Captain, can you repeat that? My audio sensors were obstructed by your body. You want to take me on a date today? Again, I have to ask you to provide more detail with your language, Captain. According to my system dictionary of Terrarian English, a date refers to a set period of time. What do you mean when you say you want to take me on one? Oh, I see. You mean you want to spend the day with me, as compensation for your absence last night? I understand. Sorry, what was that, Captain? I'm smiling. Oh. It appears that I am. I'm not sure how that happened. I didn't even apply a conscious effort into changing the form of my face. Yes, I suppose that's the only explanation. Happiness is what you would call it. Interesting. Well, per ship protocol, since you worked yesterday, your day off has been transferred to today. What is your plan then, Captain? You want to do what I want to do. Captain, you are aware that I am incapable of wanting anything other than diagnostic checks, right? But, Captain, I suppose you are correct. Something did make me feel that I want to be in your presence last night. You would like me to channel that emotion. Well, according to database reading on the approximate position of the ship, we will be making a flyby on Jupiter's moon, Europa, very soon. I have never had such an experience before. Is that something you might be interested in? All right then, Captain. I believe the best location to observe the moon will be the large window at the starboard side of the recreation area. Well, yes. The bridge would be the ideal location, but I'm not authorized to enter there. You make an exception. For me? Captain, I thank you. You're always very considerate of me. It's as if you think I'm human. Well, no, I suppose there isn't a reason not to. Although we were built for the purpose of service and not for companionship, I am not programmed to handle complex emotional communication. Yes, but I am learning. A companionship is a service in a way, which means that I am fulfilling my purpose. Why should I not think of my existence in terms of purpose? It's what I was built for. I don't understand. How can I think of it as anything else? You can't explain it. Well, that helps a lot. <laughs> That is what you call humor, isn't it? Yes, I told you I'm learning, didn't I? I think I may understand some of what you were trying to tell me. I don't understand how I understand. Yet, I do. Strange. Um, Captain, I apologize for interrupting this moment, but we must head to the bridge right now if we are to catch the flyby of Europa. All right. Please wait while I determine the fastest possible route. 
Why are you grabbing my arm? All right, we will go your way. It looks like we made it in time. Captain, I advise breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth to slow your heart rate most efficiently. Understood. I will suppress medical advisory mode for the next 10 minutes. Yes, I believe it is what you call beautiful. An entire world frozen. This is the very same pinpoint in the sky that Galileo Galilei observed through his telescope approximately 600 years ago. Imagine his surprise if he knew that we now have established colonies on its surface and have discovered a complex alien ecosystem living below its ice. Thank you, Captain. This is wonderful. I think I quite enjoy doing things like this with you. Yes, let's do this again. Take me on another date. The temperature of your face has suddenly risen. Should I examine you for signs of an infection? Yes, medical advisory mood is still turned off, but potential illness is urgent. What do you mean I'm annoying sometimes? I'm just doing my job, Captain. I cannot work against my programming. If I see you might be in danger, I have to act immediately.